Jaguars are known for their sleek, sexy lines, but they don't look quite as sleek and sexy when they've got yellowed out headlights like we have here. But uh, I'm sure you've all seen those videos before where people can restore the headlights and it, it works pretty well. But uh, I've, I've got to admit, when I did this, I've actually done this once before, and uh, when I did it the first time, it went a little too quick and I made some mistakes. I kind of want to show you those mistakes and uh, maybe help you out if you ever want to do this yourself. So well, let's, let, let's get this taped up and uh, then I'll show you what's going on here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got this all taped off here. And we did that because of the type of method that we're using. Now, I've used several before and uh, we're gonna be using a 3M kit here. And uh, it seems to work the best. And I don't know why it always seems like 3M has the best stuff anyway, but uh, th we've got a, a multi-step process here. And uh, we've got a pneumatic gun that we're gonna be doing some wet sanding with on these. And we've got uh, many different uh, sanding discs here. We got a a 500 grit, then we'll be moving to an 800, then a 1,000, and then we'll be finishing off with a 3,000. And, uh, you know, that might kind of seem like a lot to you, but, you know, that's one of my points here it is. And uh, I say that because, like I said before, the first time I did this, I rushed myself, which is obviously never what you want to do in anything anyhow, but uh, especially here. And uh, we'll be get going with the, f the first layer in just a second, but I want to make a point about that first layer is it's really the most important one and uh, where you can go a little too fast like I did this first time because what you want to do is you want to make all your layers completely even you or you want to take off all these uh, this dirt and everything and get down to a nice even layer and uh, it really is the first disc that's going to get that done for you and uh, if you don't do it I'll, I'll get a close up here but you kind of almost get waves or puddles and lines in here and uh, in the end, you might not be able to see it that well, but up close you can, and over time, you're gonna, it's gonna be even more pronounced like it is here, and uh, that's obviously what you don't want. So uh, I'll get started here and uh, hopefully be able to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now I've been going at this for several minutes now, and it might look pretty good, but uh, I'll get you a close-up here, and you'll be able to see that uh, I haven't gone quite far enough. You'll still be able to see some of those lines and patches and maybe almost even like a brighter spot than some of the others, which means I'm not down to the same layer on everything yet. So I'm going to need to keep going, but I wanted to show you this, so, and I'll get you a close-up for it. All right, well, I've spent a little bit more time on this here and uh, I've got it the way I'd like it. So I'll get you an up close shot so you can see that it's nice and uh, even throughout the whole lens. But uh, we'll be moving on here to the next levels. Uh, I'm gonna kind of skip through those kind of quick because it's the same, just kind of sanding. But now that we're down to a nice even level, we won't have to worry about so much what we're doing with the next sanding pads because we've got this base, we've, you know, we've got a good base here, so we can just kind of skim over those real quick, make sure we get a, you know, a good sand on there, but we don't have to worry too much about that. And I'll also be going on to these other lights here, and then uh, from there we'll be going to the next step of the process. So I'll get going on these, and then uh, I'll show you where we go from here. Well, all right, we got through that uh, 3000 grit uh, sanding disc. 
so we can move on to our next spot. But uh, before we do that, um, I also wanted to give you a little bit of another tip here. Make sure you get in around those edges and uh, don't worry about it. That's why we taped it off in the first place so we don't damage the bumper at all. But uh, yeah, really make sure you get in there and that uh, you're getting all those edges. But we can move on to our next step, which is gonna be polishing up these lenses. But uh, there's a two, it's a two-step process. We're gonna be using a cleaner first, then we'll be using a polish, but we gotta get all this water off here first. So we'll do that. Well, as you can see, we're all set here. We got that polish on there, and uh, I think they turned out pretty good. And uh, whether you're doing this process or not, this 3M process or not, I think there's still some things you can take away from this video. And I think obviously first and foremost is that uh, you need to take your time and do it right. And make sure you give yourself enough time. This process took me about two hours to do all four of these lights here. Um, but you're taking that time so you can get one nice even layer on these lights. It's gonna look better in the end and over time when they start to wear again, it's just gonna be a more even wear. And uh, you know, that kind of leads me into my last point there is that these are gonna wear again uh, and they're not, it's not gonna last as long as it did from the factory. Remember, these things come with a protective coating on them from the factory and we've now uh, sanded that whole coating away so these aren't going to last as long. You can probably expect about two to three years before you're going to need to do this again. For some of you that, you know, that might not be an issue, but for those people that like to keep their cars a long time, that's something to take into consideration that you're probably going to have to do that again. Um, oh, and obviously one other thing here, you can probably see the front end of this car is a complete mess. So you're going to have to keep a car wash in mind when you're done with this too. But, uh, with that, we'll wrap up this video. Hope to see you guys again soon.